extremely more, but it would be time to get Great pleasure to catch up with Tim Southey. I just want to get some technical tips from Tim here. Now he's got a ball in his hand now. For you, what are the important things, finger placement, wrist position, about learning to swing the ball as a premier guy? Um, I guess, firstly, I was sort of gifted with a, a, a nice wrist. Um, What's that mean? Well, my wrist sort of sits in behind the ball nicely with a slightly sort of... Point, yeah, slightly cocked, sort of pointing towards. So I rest the ball in my hand. It tends the ball tends to naturally sort of sit towards um, first first one and a half slips. Right. Um, and for me, it's about getting the seam in an upright position. Um, not all the time it's going to swing, but I guess that gives you the best chance of if there is any, is any assistance, um, then it hopefully does swing. So I, I see fingers close together. There is that your personal thing, or, or what? That is what you advise. Um, I guess it comes down to personal um, preference and what feels comfortable for, for each individual. Um, some people play, sometimes I play around with the, the thumb situation um, and, um, and yeah, just slightly move the ball around. Um, sometimes to, I can't actually bowl a, a, a genuine inswing, it's something I'm, I'm working on. Um, and, but sort of sometimes you play around with the seam and, and try and deceive, deceive people that way. Yeah, a lot of guys talk to you about talk about you and a couple of your colleagues about a wobble seam. What exactly is a wobble seam, and how do you place it in the fingers? Um, again, it's the three quarter seam, I should say. Um, again, it's just about moving the fingers around, um, trying to, I guess, put a little bit more weight on one side of the ball, um, and then hopefully the seam sort of comes out in a in a less upright position. And then, if there is anything in the wicket, then hopefully it does does move a little bit. How does that differ then from the cross seam? What are you? What are guys in the modern game looking for with cross seam? I think God. And when I say cross seam, just I'm not good at it. I'm just trying to work on what Tim does. Cross seam, wobble seam, genuine seam up. So cross seam for me is what? Um, yeah, I don't bowl a lot of cross seam. I sort of tend to do the the sort of scramble seam. Um, but you look at someone like Dale Stain. Um, when we talked to him uh, this year at the IPL, somehow he used to get the cross seam. To swing. to swing. I don't know. I don't know how he did it. He doesn't know. He sort of said it just. It's just something that he's able to do. So I think it's about for for people that are trying. It's just about trial and error, trying to find something that works for for you. Because what works for for Dale doesn't necessarily work for for someone like Trent or myself, or um, something that works for obviously Jimmy Anderson, one of the best swing bowlers, um, especially with the red ball, may not work for for other people. So I think it's about playing around and 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 finding out what works for you. And just for, finally, for the little guys out there who want to be another Tim Salvi, what percentage of bowling you would say would be length? What percentage in white ball cricket your practice regime would be Yorkers? Um, I guess someone like me who doesn't have out and out pace, you've got to be a little bit more accurate. So, um, so I guess it's a, a mixture of both. I guess being able to, I guess, what you want to do, trying to give yourself the best chance of executing it. So whether it's a Yorker, it's committing to it and, and trying to hit it and, um, and also with your length as well, trying to be as, as accurate as possible. So I think accuracy in general is just um, whether it's length or whether it's a Yorker or whether it's a slower, it's about trying to, I guess, train as, as much as you can so then when you're out in the middle under pressure, then it gives yourself the best chance to, I guess, uh, execute it. Tim Southey, I wish I had a wrist position like that. Phenomenal bowler. Thank you very much for your time, Tim. Thank you very much.